All right, we have here a HP laptop. This is a 15-AY141TU. We're going to replace the DC jack. This DC jack is good, so we're going to pull this out of this laptop and put it into another laptop. And then we'll order a new DC jack for this. You're welcome to have a schooner here. Sorry? You're welcome to have the schooner here. <laughs> You'll get banned for life. Huh? Are oh, you going to Balmain? Yeah. All right, no. All right, it's popular, right? Take it easy. All right. Let's have a look. Any other screws? Looks like no. And this model looks like. Not sure which way to take it out yet. Maybe the top panel comes off. Ah, so the bottom panel does come off. That should make it easy. If you were to replace the RAM or hard drive, this is what you also need to do. Right, so we can see the DC jack is there. So we're going to rip this out and use it on another model. It looks like it's under the LCD. Well, look at that, it's on an angle. Never seen a RAM on an angle like this. Cool. Alright, so we want the DC jack that's here. the hinge, the left hinge, we need to lift it up a little bit, it's all tight fitting here so we may need to undo these cables a little bit, yep that's done, that's done, yep that's done, so we just need to lift this up slightly, there's another screw there, okay. Yep, that's also holding it down. Okay, and just gently
There we go. That's out. I actually ordered a new DC jack for this. And I'll install that again onto this later on. This customer needs the laptop back quickly. Okay, so that's about it, mate. And you can see it's got two D DDR, I'm guessing CDR3. It is a DDR3 low voltage RAM. You can go up to 16 gigs. So this is an 8 gig module. So that's the hard drive. I don't see a 2.5 inch, uh, sorry, uh, M2280 slot. Pretty basic. And you can also have a DVD drive here, which will normally connect there, but they haven't put it in this model. All right, so I don't need to put the entire thing back for this because, and by the way, the screw is in the wrong place. because we're going to open this one back again later. Here is the other model, and this is a 15-AY502TX. So this one definitely has the faulty DC jack. It's pretty much the same steps. Take the battery out. We did a, maybe we did a video on this, where we replaced the SSD before, I'm not sure. Hey Carl. Carl is good, but no time buddy. Can, hey. Uh, no, I haven't had a look. Can I call you in half an hour? Uh, oh, yeah, sure. I can come back on Monday afternoon. Um, I'll call you in half an hour. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. Okay. No, All right. Sorry if I wasn't here. The guy is trying to turn the Manchester into a bug ride. You're fine, Carl. I'll call you in half an hour. Yeah, no worries. I'll send you a text or something. Sure. That's fine, buddy. Okay. You're welcome. No worries, mate. I appreciate your telling me that. Thank you. Any more screws? Nope. All right, let's take this guy out. Same process as before. Find a weak spot.
That's fantastic, so it uses the same DC jack. Yep, I did an SSD upgrade on this. Interesting enough, the RAM is in a different slot for this. Very interesting. It has a different CPU. That's something to consider. I think this was an i7. Can't remember ex uh, exactly when. And we can see it's slightly different layout for the CPU. No, it's actually the same. Well, actually different. The uh, metal bit looks different. And let's see if this will... I should have opened the screen first before removing the those two screws. Alright. So we're working on here. And does it lift up? No. Nope. So that screw needs to come out. This ribbon cable come out. That screw there. So it's the same scenario slightly different model, same process, so now the this one just came out like that, put the new one in, there we go, that's in, that's in, that's in, and that's in. Now the color codes, ooh, so this was in like that, yep should be fine. Sometimes they change the color ordering just so you don't recycle parts. And while we're at it, we'll test the DC jack. Oh, by the way, the old one, if you have a look, see how that is all messed up? There we go. There should be a plastic there, but the plastic is gone. Alright, I've got the DC uh, the charger here. Plug it in, and we got a white light there. That's fantastic. So this is good news. This job is complete.
Now, this job is complete, but there is also another problem. They've attempted to force the DC jack in a few times. Sorry, the charger. And charging port is damaged on the charger, I'll show you. So if you can see the charging pin inside is actually it's actually on an angle. So what we're gonna do we're gonna bring that to the center. And how are we going to do that? We need tweezers, sharp one. Something like this. Okay, let's see if that will fit nicely. Yep. And try that. There we go. So the pin in the middle is important, otherwise you cannot sense the type of charger and it will refuse to charge the battery and that's the last thing you want to see.